up you guys it's your girl angel sky coming back at you again today for a video i wanted to do because i've noticed a lot of the times when i go to take off my nails i have to break them and pick at them and it's just super hard to get not just acrylic nails off but gel nails or even press on nails can get really hard to take off so I found this stuff at the store and it has just been like amazing to use because it makes the acrylic and the gel just kind of clump up and glide off your nails and it doesn't break your real nails, which is the problem I have every single time I go to take off my nails. It always breaks my nails. So she had a little bit of a problem because I got a fungus. Look at this, that's mold. Do you see that? Yes, I broke my nail. It just happened before I did this video. I broke a nail. I never break a nail, and now I broke a nail. But, look at this. Do you see this? What's that? That, and here, and here. I just went to go get a fill probably like three weeks ago. I went to go get a fill like, I don't even think it was a week ago. Maybe, maybe a week, a week and a half, right? And when she did the fill, I changed out the polish and I noticed that my nails look like this. And I'm like, what is happening? What is going on? I have been doing my nails for like over 20 years, right? This has never happened to me in my life. So I took a picture of it. I'm gonna go there and ask her like what happened. I don't know if like water got caught underneath the nail, but I'm lucky that I went to go change the, the polish on my nails because had I not, wanted to do the white tips, I would have never even noticed this was on me because I had just a regular plain pink color. So if I never wanted to change the color on my nails, how long would this mold be up under my nails? Well, thank God I found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my nails. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. It's super simple, it's super easy. Dip your nails, scrape it off, you're good, and it doesn't ruin your natural nails. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to need is the Professional Nail Polish Remover Pure Acetone Mass Maximum Strength. You don't have to purchase this particular brand as long as it says for artificial nail removal. I have two different types of nail file, two different types of clippers, and a bowl, cup, or jar, in this case a shot glass. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take your acetone, pour it into the glass container of some sort. Just make sure it's glass because if not, it will eat away at it. Now taking the clippers, try to get as much of the artificial or acrylic nail as you can. Um, the more you get off, the faster it works because it doesn't need to soak through so many different layers. So that's pretty much what you see me doing here is just clipping each nail as low as I can possibly get it. Um, as I previously stated, I did ruin um, my right hand uh, middle finger. So with this one, I'm actually going to try to like skip over it and do every other nail but that because I have to take extra precaution with that one because when I broke it, I broke it super low. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over that middle nail and then I'm going to try to work with it as best I can afterwards so you'll see that process as well. Okay, so now that I have all the nails off, I'm gently trying to get the tip of the nail off, but it is broken way further down than I cut off. But I'm just gonna go back through and try to get as much as I can without actually ruining it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and file the nail down as much as I can. It's just, it's pretty broken in that spot and I don't want it to completely snap off wherever it broke. So now I'm just cleaning up my workspace because this maximum strength remover is very harsh and it will ruin your stuff so I went ahead and got some cotton balls to take off my nail polish because as you know since it is nail polish remover it will also remove your nail polish and it does it with ease so if you have any type of like glitter polish or any type of nail polish that's really hard to get off especially like gel this will take it off completely with ease so that's pretty much what I'm doing now is just taking off the actual paint that's on my nail polish and getting off like the first real tough layer so that I can kind of break it down um, and I'll be able to soak it and it'll come off quicker. 
So now after this, like I said, you just soak your nail. So with this, the longer you soak it, the easier it's going to come off. So I'm a very impatient person. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to sit there and soak it for 15 minutes. And this is obviously a shot glass and not like a bigger jar. So I can't dunk all of my nails in it. Um, so what I'm pretty much doing is I'm letting it sit in the acetone for about like four minutes and then I am dipping my cotton ball in the acetone and I'm kind of like scrubbing the nail off. This for me seemed to work a little bit better because although I wasn't soaking it, I was really kind of like scrubbing off the artificial nail, which was somehow helping me out a lot because I got them off a lot faster with this. As you can see, I already got like a couple nails off. Just doing that, you can obviously do either or you can just soak it and take it off as it goes or you can just soak it for a little bit then bring it back up and wipe the excess off so now as you can see I almost have my whole hand off my whole right hand hand and I actually this is the broken nail right here and I broke it pretty low so I'm pretty scared to dip it in the acetone because that's gonna be super painful so I took a Benadryl <laughs> and I was kind of trying to like gently peel it off um, this is the exact same way I used to do my nails with any type of like um, pill um, container. It seems to really get under there and come off easy. And then I just go in with the nail clippers and clip it after. That's pretty much how I used to take off my nails. But it did end up ripping and peeling my actual nails. That's why I don't do this anymore. I'm just trying to do it for this particular one because... I feel like it's gonna burn when I put it in the acetone so I'm kind of scared to soak it so I was trying to get get off like as much of the actual nail as I can um, but it really wasn't working out too well for me this time I don't know if it's because I just recently had a fill and it was on there really well or what the case was but I need to get these off ASAP because as you saw I do have a fungus and some mold growing under my nails as much as I love my artificial nails I will not keep them over top of some mold so I'm doing my best to try to get this nail off um, I do actually just soak it because I got so upset trying to get it off and it wouldn't come off and it was actually hurting more so I did soak it and it honestly wasn't that painful. I got to tell you, I thought it was going to hurt a lot more than it did, but it, it wasn't that bad. So now I think it, it took me a total of maybe like um, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get my nails off. And the only reason it took me so long was because I'm a mother of five and I had other things to do rather than to sit there and just soak my nails. So it did take me a little bit longer this time through. If you're very patient and you let the process do what it needs to do and just let it soak it will come off way faster. So now you see me dipping in that middle finger, just testing it out to see if it's actually gonna hurt or burn, but it was actually pretty good. So all of them came off with ease, thank God. All right, you guys, so I did it. They're off, it's late, I'm tired. I got a doctor's appointment early in the morning, so that's it, boom. That's what they're looking like. You could see, definitely see it right there still. I feel like it's not as prominent, but it definitely is on this nail. So needless to say, they're gonna need a breather. So I'm going to look around for different things that may help get it off. Um, I tried to soak them in that maximum strength nail polish remover, but that didn't work. Um, there was saying like bleach and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to keep trying um, and see what I can do about this. But I'm definitely going to go to CVS and get my favorite nail growth serum. So that will definitely help my nails get back to healthy because I don't need to cover up my nails when they're looking like this with that nasty stuff right there. So that's it, that wraps it up. I hope you guys, I hope this helped. I hope you learned something. It's a super easy, super healthy way to take off your nails without ruining your nails in the process. Unfortunately, I ruined my nails from the acrylic, but what are you gonna do? They grow back, that's the good thing. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support and I will See you in the next one.
Bye, guys. Bye, guys.